I am a small scale farmer from Rural Women Assembly. I've been invited this afternoon to come here and share with you why as women farmers we believe that uh, food sovereignty is important. First and foremost, we believe that food sovereignty it enables people to be at the center of defining their agricultural system. Nosotros eh, en Guatemala como mujeres campesinas hemos enfrentado, hemos luchado, hemos lanzado la voz en cada espacio incidiendo, reclamando nuestro derecho como ser humano porque tenemos derecho de vivir en la tierra. Esas mineras ahora atenta contra la vida. Cuántos niños con enfermedades hospitalizados aprender a convivir con nuestra madre tierra, porque si nosotros vamos a ser cómplices de todos aquellos que están violando esos derechos, también no somos nada en esta tierra. Our fighting that in our community is working with our nation's government to ban GMOs on our region, to keep GMOs out of our area, and also going against these companies that impact our community, to be in solidarity with you all. And the things that are happening in your countries have also happened to my people. And we currently live on a reservation, and we're all fighting the same struggle. And we will continue that until we get back our food, until we get back our water, until Mother Earth is at peace. But what is happening in coastal areas, what is happening in fishing communities, is that tourism is developing. And as tourism is developing, we are depriving fishing communities their right to access fishing grounds because many nations, many states, are in favor of tourism because its development as small scale fisheries is just another bad way of uh, harvesting fish, which is not even regarded as development. We are the fisher, we are the fisher folk. We want a fishing ride. 